Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into MP3 players and CD players and the electromagnetic radiation that they give off. And we're going to use a standard AM radio to detect these radio waves that are coming out of these devices. And this is just a, any old standard radio. It's an AM radio, it's tuned into 530 on the AM band. You can be tuned into any part of the band as long as there's no radio station there. So we've picked a 530 because it's quiet. So let's turn on the radio. So you can hear right now is very quiet, not much noise on the radio. And we're going to look at our first MP3 player, which is this one. And it's actually a USB drive as well, but uh, you can store data files and play MP3 files. And it's also a radio. And we've got our headphones plugged in. So we're going to break the headphones over our radio. And we're going to switch this on. And we're going to see what happens. So it's actually not really affecting the radio. But that all that changes when we bring this close to the radio. So as you can see there's about a first field coming out of this little unit. And it only takes one battery. off now. No effect on the radio. So the next one of our devices is a CD player. You can see this one is aimed at joggers. So this is something you may go running with. And there's absolutely no effect on the radio until you turn it on. As you can see, there's uh, about a two foot field coming out of this. And uh, it's kind of concerning that there's so much EMI coming out of it. Our last MP3 player is over here. Now, this has a transformer block to charge it up, and it's got a little hard drive in it. This is one of the early MP3 players. And we're going to scan it and see what happens with the AM radio. So we can see that there's a little bit of EMI can get out of the transformer. And there's a little bit of EMI can get out of the player. So what we're going to do now is these are our headphones. I'm going to trace them over our radio. And we're going to see what happens when we start playing around with the controls. There's a lot of EMI coming out of these headphones. So I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to see whether it's still the same. So it's not running on its own battery. Let's see what happens. So it appears that when it's plugged into the main, 
to put a whole bunch of EMI onto the headphones. So let's actually test the main unit. It's not as bad as our CD player, but it certainly gives out about four inches of EMI. So it's probably something you wouldn't want sitting in your shirt pocket. You may find that if you have something like this in your shirt pocket for an extended period, you may actually start getting a regular heartbeat. We can see that the field actually increases when you're operating the controls. Let's turn it off. So it's off. So you can see these MP3 players and they're associated CD players and these little things with USB drives they all give out EMI and I was quite surprised to find out exactly how much EMI they give out and I'm sure you were too so uh, it's something to be aware of EMI is a stimulant to the human body and it can do some very strange things and this is particularly a concern around children because EMI will cause things like hyperactivity and fatigue and uh, cellular development problems to show up and uh, if you see like same weird behavior in your children you may want to advise them to spend some time away from their electronic devices and see whether it clears up. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.